cool. Since I've been enjoying some coin crypt, I decided I'd record a few. And so, here I am. So this coin crypt, it's a roguelike kind of a deck building also. I've played a bit, and right now my favorite character is this one. She basically, I suppose I should, the ability is double uses every coin, but drops one too, so you get double use, but you lose one. And I suppose now I should explain the game. Basically you have this uh, randomly generated world, because it's a roguelike. You get these chests which have coins in them occasion all the time, and then there's enemies, and so you use coins to fight, but if you run out of coins, then you also die, so you can fight enemies by either trying to make them lose all their coins, or by just uh, trying to kill them with damage, or just outlast them. And various characters are suited more towards one of those strategies or another. And at the end, you can then put all the coins overall that you've gotten towards unlocking characters. So the more coins you get, the more you advance. And in particular, the better you get to winning. I'm probably rambling ish. It was, so yeah, you have these different uh, stages and you go through them and really just have to try to defeat the enemies and get as far as you can because it's a roguelike. And that is this game. So pretty much the biggest positive is that you essentially get double use out of everything because of this character's ability, so that's why I like him a lot. And even though you drop one, it's not that bad normally. You can redraw and that takes a little bit of time. It's kind of real-time fighting. So, this character does make stacks a lot worse because then you'll drop two coins and oftentimes the stacks benefit will be way more than you need, especially as early on. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go and see how far I can get. I think the farthest I've gone is like the third different area, not level. It'd probably be more like level 9, I guess. And I'd say I'm okay at this. Uh, definitely not amazing because I haven't beaten it. Use that instead of the 4 damage coin, which you can... I lost one because right there... I only need it. So there's these random ghosts like you saw I went to talk to. You. Click on this thing down the bottom right to talk to them or to buy stuff if I'm at a store and things. And then I get a random, or I can choose one of these four benefits or I can get random ones. So let's see here. First you have plus 100% chance to get back used coins. Drops one extra coins per cast. So essentially that would mean get used coins. So I'd get the two coins back, so, but then I'd also drop two. It's so like, one coin, and get, basically I'd slowly turn to only one type of coin, probably. Plus run speed, my defense, which I assume is basically life, if I remember correctly. It's been a few days since I've actually played this. Cast speed, plus 25%, so, rather than, like, taking it would take less time to redraw or to cast a coin because they have take different amounts of time. Uh, get slow down on enemy hit, so if I was doing that I'd want to kill my enemy as fast as possible, which is kind of helped by my two times use, so I do like essentially double damage. It's not all that uncommon to kill an enemy in one hit. Uh, plus two max HP, minus two percent level time limit. Um Hmm, this would be pretty nice. Run speed versus defense. I'm not gonna try to run away from anyone. I could go for random. I think I'm going to go. Oops. Well, that nice time plus two max 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 HP. 
That is a dungeon from what I've understood. I've gotten through to the second level of it. So that's about it. So now I'm going to overuse this coin and really should hope for drawing some healing coin. Oh, yes, you're gonna fight me instead. Redraw, please. Okay, I should heal myself because game pretty low. Ah, there goes the coin or key. No, oh, don't kill me. You just went to lose already. Oh uh, yeah, my key just went down the drain. Ah, uh, so here's the shop. So as you can see, I have 360, which is from all these various coins. I personally found the shops not always, or even rarely, the best investment. But if I want to buy something like run faster, nah, defense, raises defense, uh, boost stealing dropping, so they drop more coins and I'd get more from stealing. Talisman, Lincoln, status effects, both good and bad, I should note, so that's a mimic. Yeah, so I'm not going to get the talisman either. Ooh, that would kill me, because it would deal four to me. Ooh, probably shouldn't use those. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Well, that draw him, drew him out, because that dropped both his coins because of the double use. Fortunately, that means I don't get those coins as loot. Huh. Now these coins might make it worth buying something because they're worth a large amount, but they don't do anything. So I have 115 spending, so I can get. It. Not going to. No, I don't want more stats effects. My ceiling dropping. I barely am using that. Oh, time's running out. Uh, I don't know why I just bought. Run right away! Don't lose. Guess this is a speed run now. So yeah, if you run out of coins, you lose. So I'm going to end with. What? What? What's going on? And here we have coins. Okay. Minus two. I keep losing coins. Isn't supposed to happen like this. I think I made a terrible mistake. Oh crap, I've lost. Wait, I could do that. Now I'm down to two, eight coins. A bit better. A bit safer. Uh, probably should have stolen. Sure, steal all his coins. Wait, I don't need to heal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, find a chest. Shield drop. Um, this is the second zone. As you can see, because it's level two dash one. Uh, I think I'll shield and let it drop on my. Poison me. Actually, it's not just using that. Or it's using that drop because I drop this coin when I use it. Uh, I really need more coins. What does that do? Enemy attacks may fail. Oh well. Okay. I'm still alive now. So coin to self. Hit two and we drop the coin. Yes please. Come on, kill him. Heal. Of course it did. Oh, that, that made me lose. Oh, that's how I could count this guy's dropping. So yeah, now I've lost and I have this flashy screen with the money and my choice of three characters to point to put this might towards unlocking. Of course, the money increases as you play the game. So the more you play, the longer it takes to unlock. Of course, presumably the better you're going to be getting, so the more coins you'll get. Let's see here, how long was that? Ten minutes? Okay. Now, that's the end of my explanation of this game. Now, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.